good and pleasant news are pouring in for the exponentially growing Indian aviation sector. India has now its own world-class light transport aircraft designed and developed indigenously. Decks have been cleared for the development of a next generation trainer aircraft. A host of useful electronic devices have been developed to support manufacturing in aviation sector. CSIR's Bengaluru-based National Aerospace Laboratories NAL, is the cradle of recent developments that have made India proud. NAL maintains a sprawling campus that houses state-of-art laboratories and research facilities for developing new aviation technologies. Sophisticated instrumentation and equipments evaluate various devices developed by NAL. Aerospace Electronics and Systems Division has developed many electronic devices that have potential uses in aviation sector. Highly skilled, competent and dedicated scientists are the core strength of NAL that have made many breakthroughs to transform aviation sector. Among its many laudable contributions, development of SARAS, the light transport aircraft, is one of the most notable one due to its immense potential in civil and military operations. NL is the only aerospace laboratory in the country for design and development of civil aircraft. NL has successfully done two-seater Hansa development in 1985 and the SARS 14-seater aircraft for Indian Air Force was also developed in 2001. Further to that, NL has now revived both the programs and the Hansa will be replaced by Hansa NG where the endurance of the aircraft has been improved to 6 hours for the commercial pilot licensing. NL has also revived a 14-seater SARS aircraft which has been flown on 24th January 2018. The Indian Air Force has already committed to buy at least 15 units of this aircraft. SARS is fully equipped to take up a variety of other roles as well such as air ambulance and air taxi, coast guard and border patrol services, executive transport and aerial research services. SARS is powered by two 1200 shaft horsepower engines and has an improved flight control system, rudder area, main wheel and brakes in keeping with its all-up weight of 7100 kg. After satisfactory flight tests, the prototype will be released for commercial production CSIR NAL has also developed and improvised a trainer aircraft to meet the increasing domestic demand. Named as Hansa Next Generation, that is Hansa NG, it's a refined version of Hansa 3 with many speciality features. Hansa 3 is India's first all-composite light aircraft that was indigenously designed and developed by a dedicated team of CSIR NAL with a all-up weight of 750 kg. It is ideally suited for ab initio, flying training, sport and hobby flying. Aircraft is well protected against strike of lightning and is suitable for night flight operations. Last 15 years we have got uh, various feedbacks about this aircraft. So uh, because it was certified in 2000, almost 18 years over, we are coming out with a uh, the, the modern one where uh, we are uh, going to have all glass cockpit here. What you have seen here now in this is the analog instruments. Uh, so in the NG we will have a lot of new features. It will have better engine where the fuel efficiency will be better. All these features will be incorporated in the Hansa NG. It will come into market in another uh, uh, say one and a half years time. With increased endurance, improved ingress and egress, improved engine cowling shape and steerable nose wheel, the Hansa NG is true to its name. The immediate market potential of Hansa NG is about 70 to 80 aircrafts. With new and indigenous advancements, CSIR NAL has emerged as a major stakeholder in Make in India program. CSIR NAL has established the avionics architectures for various categories of aircraft starting from two-seater to 90-seater including 5-seater, 12-seater and 19-seater. Also CSR NL has indigenously designed, developed and certified many of the indigenous LRUs for avionics. To mention a few is the integrated avionics processing system, integrated display system, 
complex electronic IP core which is compliant to DO254 design assurance level A which is many of them are first in the country. By adding new wings to aviation sector, Indian skies are transforming.